The swinging 60s are a decade of change. The world discovers new music, a new morale and mass consumption. Unfortunately, one of the results of this newfound welfare is an increasing amount of waste. Freddy Heineken realizes that Heineken's export beer bottles are part of the global waste problem. But, he figures, what if they could also be part of the solution? And so, Freddy Heineken teams up with innovator and architect John Habrake. Together, they come up with a revolutionary idea. A bottle that, once empty, can be used as a brick. It takes a while before they get the design right. But finally, in 1963, the world bottle, or Vobo, is born. Habrake goes on to design a prototypical Vobo house. Using the simple manual, anybody should be able to build his or her own Vobo house, anywhere. All you need is Heineken's unique bottles and a few other waste materials. So far, so good. Unfortunately, the project comes to a screeching halt when research concludes that producing the Vobo is too difficult and too costly. And so, ironically enough, the Vobo falls victim to the very systems it was trying to fix, those of mass production and consumerism. As the great Samuel Beckett once said, no matter, try again, fail again, fail better. Today, the Vobo is recognized as the first industrial initiative for recyclable packaging. And at Heineken, we are still dedicated to being part of the solution by brewing a better world.